the rule of law hinges on the judiciary. Blaise Campori, arriving as the guest for this occasion. Arrival of some of the dignitaries. Yeah, Ghana's ambassador to Togo, the former director general of the GBC, Mr. David Anaglate, accompanied the president of Togo, General Nasube Nyadema. The arrival of the special guest of honor for this occasion, the president of Nigeria, His Excellency General Olishigon Obasanjo. The Nigerian head of state is the special guest of honor for this occasion. His Excellency General Olishigon Obasanjo, the president of Nigeria. A very powerful nation in Africa. In your short is Bishop Akwesisapon of the Catholic Church, accompanied by Archbishop Texan of Cape Coast. The clergy, having prayed for peaceful elections, they want to be part of this historic occasion. So there you see General Anokwenu, and then the campaign manager of the MPP, Mr. Jake Obichabelamte, and then Professor Albert Adubuahin, in your shot, he was the MPP presidential candidate in 1992 elections, Professor Albert Adubuahim, then Professor George Hagan, then Chairman of CPP, and Dr. Rekumbrobe, Mrs. Joyce Rekumbrobe, and Mr. Dan Latte, alias Domestication, and then Dr. Edward Mahama. Mr. Gusitano, Reverend Brother Pius Ajeman, the Kali Secretariat, a composer of African music for worship. And there you see Mr. Gusitano of the NRP. And then you see the arrival of the Vice President elect. Al Haji Ali Mahama, accompanied by his wife, Haji Ramad Mahama. Al Haji Ali Mahama, 53 years old, a product of Tamasco and Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. And then you see the dexterity with which the man performs the dance. This is the man who has dominated the political scene of Ghana for so many years, never in the history of this country has one person dominated the political scene than former President Jerry John Rawlings. He was in office in 1979 for three months and he came back to power through a military coup on 31st December 1981. And he has ruled this country up to the midnight of January 2001. The man who is 
mob everywhere he goes. He is shaking hands with the people. That is very characteristic of him. Nana Adudankwa Ukwapimhini. Waving to the crowd, responding to the cheers. The crowd puller, JJ Rollins. The exit, shaking hands with the Kaliuna, Na Bananin Sandu. There you see the man. Yes. Sigma, Estroho, and Aspiaho. Oh, Jerry. That is indeed interesting. Mr. John Ejekum Kufo. Glad, rich, kinti club. Shaking hands with people from all corners of the country and members of the diplomatic corps. There is no chance for this man. Everybody wants to catch a glimpse of him. The security network is tight. The security men having a headache here, trying to control the crowd. The diplomatic corps. They have all contributed in diverse ways to make sure that we have had peaceful relations and then smooth transition of power. There you see the man, the black gentleman, the next president of the Republic of Ghana. Thanking all Ghanaians, responding to their cheers. It's all joy here. Those of you watching from your home, those who are here, this is the occasion. JJ Rollins and J. Kufo John. Jerry John Rollins, John Ejekum Kufo. And another John, John Evans Atamel. Is indeed historic. And now the new Speaker of Parliament. Honorable Jete, the demonstration of the leadership of our political parties today shows that there is no fight. All is set any moment from now. The Chief Justice, His Lordship Justice I.K. Aban, will take his position. And that is the outgoing president, Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings. Honorable members, I will now respectfully invite His Lordship the Chief Justice to proceed to this area so that the next ceremony can be proceeded with. Ajekum Kufuo, having been elected, having been elected to the office, to the high office of president, to the high office of president of the Republic of Ghana, of the Republic of Ghana, do in the name of the Almighty God swear, do in the name of the Almighty God swear, that I will be faithful that I will be faithful and true to the Republic of Ghana and true to the Republic of Ghana that I will at all times that I will at all times preserve preserve protect protect and defend the constitution of the Republic of Ghana and defend the constitution of the Republic of Ghana and that 
that I dedicate myself I dedicate myself to the service to the service and well-being of the people of the Republic of Ghana to the service and well-being of the people of the Republic of Ghana and to do right to all manner of persons and to do right to all manner of persons I further solemnly swear I further solemnly swear that should I at any that should I at any time, time break this oath of office break this oath of office I shall submit myself I shall submit myself to the laws of the Republic of Ghana to the laws of the Republic of Ghana and suffer the penalty for it and suffer the penalty for it so help me God so help me God by the police band. of Ghana. Now the turn of his worship, the Chief Justice, to also append his signature. So, the President, Mr. J. A. Kufour, having a warm embrace from former President Jerry John Rawlings. President embracing, shaking hands with the people on the days. General Yadema, Captain Blaise Kampori, and the special guest of honor, General Olishigon of Basanjo of Nigeria. Now, the swearing in of the Vice President elect, Al Haji Aliu Mahama. Aliu Mahama, having been elected to the office of having been elected to the high office of the vice president, having been elected to the high office of the vice president of the Republic of Ghana, of the Republic of Ghana, do in the name of Allah, do in the name of Allah, swear that I will be faithful, swear that I will be faithful, and do to the Republic of Ghana and true to the Republic of Ghana, that I will at all times, that I will at all times, preserve, preserve, protect, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Republic of Ghana, and defend the Constitution of the Republic of Ghana, and that, and that, I will dedicate myself, I dedicate myself, to the service, to the service, and well-being, and well-being, of the people of the Republic of Ghana, of the people of the Republic of Ghana, and to do right, and to do right to all manner of persons, to all manner of persons. I further swear, solemnly swear, I further solemnly swear that should I at any time, that should I at any time break this oath of office, break this oath of office, 
I shall submit. I shall submit myself to the laws of the Republic of Ghana, to the laws of the Republic of Ghana, and suffer the penalty for it. And suffer the penalty for it. So help me, Allah. So help me, Allah. Up there on the Independence Arch, you see the fanfare blowers ready to blow the fanfare to herald the arrival of His Excellency, the President of Ghana, John Ejekum Kofo. A session of the people and the people are cheering the people are cheering there you see former vice president kn aka acknowledging to the cheers of the people it was the vice president of the first parliament of the fourth republic he was the vice president to his excellency flight lieutenant jerry john rollins during the his first term of office as president of ghana you can hear the cheering crowd people from all walks of life have come to the independence square from every region of the country, every corner of the country, coming in buses, cars, and any means of transport to be part of the great, great occasion where power is being transferred from one government to another. The arrival of His Excellency the Vice President Al Haji Ali Mahama and his wife Hajiya Ramatu Mahama. So, once His Excellency the Vice President has arrived, the next to arrive will be the President and his spouse. So, there you see His Excellency, the Vice President, being escorted. There you see him, His Excellency, the Vice President, Al Haji Ali Muhammad. And then the tradition is there. The northern dancers, the drummers. Now he goes to take his seat. The chief Imam, Sheikh Osman Nuhu Sharabutu, is the national chief Imam. And there we have the mounted squadron from the police service, which is escorting to the ceremonial grounds the new president of the Republic of Ghana and the commander in chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, in the person of Mr. John Ajukum Kufu. guiding him as to what to do. That, that is Mr. John Ajekum Kofor in your son. 
acknowledging all the tears from Ghanaians from all walks of life and there you have him in your thoughts. He's been directed by his ceremonial ABC and you can hear the pandemonium in the background. <laughs> and he is making the sign of Asbeho Asbeho. That was the national anthem which was synchronized by the Winneba Youth Choir. That was Lieutenant Commander Ajene Mboateng, the Guard Commander for this afternoon, who has invited the President to inspect the Guard that has been mounted on his behalf. On the right hand side of the president is the guard commander and closely behind him is his ceremonial ADC. The president of the Republic of Ghana and the commander in chief of the Ghana Armed Forces Mr. John Ajekun Kufo is inspecting a guard of honor mounted on his behalf. Closely behind him is his ceremonial ADC Commander Eshen. The guard of honor from the Navy is being mounted in his honor as the President of the Republic of Ghana. He is paying compliments to the color party. To this ceremony. Security services here present are finding it really difficult to control the crowd. As you can see, and that is the president of the Republic of Ghana. His Excellency Mr. John Ajekum Kofo gracefully inspecting the Guard of Honor. The President is going back to his seat. He's exchanging greetings with the very, very important personnel on the days. On his right is the First Lady. Now we all stand for the Winneba Yupa to spend here as husbands.
Then we have the cultural performance and we have dancers from all the 10 regions of Ghana who depict unity, that we are united as one nation for the betterment of the people. So 10 dancers selected from the regions, the Greater Accra region, the dance is Pa, and the Pa is democracy at the grassroots where people dance and talk about evil in society, they chastise people who cause evil in society. From the eastern region, we have the Dipo. The Dipo in totality is a puberty, a puberty right. The dancer, being part of the culture of Ghana. There are so many dancers here this afternoon. The Ompe dance from the central region, the Kundum from the western region, the Bobobo from the Volta region, the Kete from Ashanti region, Tichi from Gongahapu region, Takai from the northern region, Bewa from the upper west region, and Wonyo from the upper east region. Basically, all the dancers are social dancers which are performed during festivals to make merry. Some of the dancers were war dancers, but with time, they have turned into social dancers, which are performed uh, during fest festivals. That is the Bobobo from the Volta region. The dexterity, look at how the performers wriggle their waist. Isn't that beauty? The Bobobo from the Volta Ridge. Yes, then the dance round. Bobo, a dance from the Volta Ridge. It's interesting you to know that some of the performers are not actually from the Volta region. The special guest of honor. He is in the person of his Excellency General Olusegun Obasanjo, the President of the Republic of Nigeria. Your Excellency, President John Kufo and Mrs. Kufo. Your Excellency, the Vice President, and Mrs. Mahama, Your Excellency, President Ayadema, Your Excellency, President Kampore, my Lord, the Chief Justice, the Deputy President of South Africa, 
distinguished members of parliament, members of the diplomatic corps, brothers and sisters. I congratulate you, Mr. President, and I congratulate the good people of Ghana on this very official occasion. I bring you warm and fraternal greetings from the people and government of Nigeria, your brothers and your sisters. We in Nigeria do not only congratulate you, we rejoice with you. on this momentous occasion that marks a peaceful change of government. History is made today with democratic transfer of power from one government to another, most significantly to the flag bearer of a party other than the ruling one. We note with joy that with this smooth and peaceful transfer of power, Ghana will be making a significant contribution to the march of democracy in Africa. To the President of Ghana, let me